Okay. This is Soma 56, and this is an overview on search engine scraping. It was my phone. So, search engine. You know what? It's it's actually I've I've mentioned it a couple times, and if we go to the bottom of the websites page, we'll see another section here on search engine scraping. Don't ever bother choosing anything besides Google. I've left it there. Maybe some people have a fetish for Bing or whatever the case is, or they 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 require to search Yahoo, AOL, MSN, or, or whatever the case is. And if there's something there that I don't that I don't have that you that you need, shoot me an email and I'll add it for you. If you're a regular user looking to scrape emails, always just select Google. I know I've got a line here which is actually going to change very shortly, but uh, in the word conjunction. It's not really a good idea to select websites and Google. It's always better to isolate them and do them differently. Google by itself is a very powerful search engine email scraping tool. Uh, we don't really need any websites. Websites allow you to focus in, so if you are looking for, you know, YouTube users, eBay users, whatever the case is, we can do that with C. But I'm going to show you a way to gather emails from right off the Google search engine using Social Email Extractor. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some keywords. If you were targeting a specific niche, actually this is this is good advice just if you're if you're targeting a niche in general. You can use all the websites, WordPress, hub pages, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever whatever you want to choose as a final sort of scrape when you've done all your sessions. I would always go back to just you know using the default most powerful keywords, default search criteria or combine them all if you're going for North America and selecting Google as the only website slash search engine and doing a session just on that because the quality of emails you're going to get back are going to be excellent. And for this purpose we're just going to try and generically grab some emails. Uh, what I did is I went to Google and typed in 500 most common keywords. I got this site and ironically I wanted this website for another tutorial and yada yada yada. Anyways, this has the 500 most common keywords. I always select the last 500 and work my way up because if we go to, and I know you can't see it on the screen here, the number, well I'll reduce Firefox here, maybe you can, there you go. Maybe I can zoom in too. That didn't work. Does that work? That works. Okay, so we can see one, two, three, four, five, six is the, of, to, and, a, in. Now, those are just way too generic for for our purposes. For the the C engine it would be much more beneficial to use very common keywords with a bit of a twist. So, I'm going to copy these. It's not obviously not in the format that I want. Let's see if I can, there we go. But there's a little trick in Excel. I'll copy this, um, this link and provide it in the description, these top 500 keywords. But thank you. So if you're going to go to Excel, click on New, Highlight, the first four columns, paste special, and I think it's text, it should break everything into, into columns. Okay, so there's our top uh, 11. So all I'm going to do is highlight those, go back to the master extractor, and drop them in our keyword box. There's another cool thing. Websites, I'm not going to select anything. I'm just going to select Google. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever choose Google, then Yahoo, then Bing, 
there's no point. Advanced options. I'm going to leave the default, but there's one actual really cool. I'm going to. It's so cool, I'm going to zoom in. Or try to zoom in. It's so cool, I'm actually going to add it to the to the default search criteria in, in an update. And let's see if I can bring up Notepad so to ensure that you have the spelling correctly. What it is is mail to colon. And if you're a web developer or have any familiar early, if you're familiar with HTML code, uh, you'll recognize what that is right away. When somebody has an email address, and this has probably happened to you, you've clicked on an email and it opens up your default uh, email client, so it could be Outlook or Thunderbird or whatever the case is, and uh, the email addresses are already automatically populated into the, the to field, they're using this code. They're basically, uh, the web programmer said, okay, well, if anybody clicks this email address, open up their email client and put their email in the to field, and you can actually put in the subject line and content and whatever the case is, but that's 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 uh, irrelevant. The, the whole point is mail to colon is going to be very very um, is, is completely relevant for our purposes in terms of a search criteria because there's a really good chance any sort of instances where this particular small phrase is popped up within content or code wi throughout the web is going to have an email address associated with it. So that's why I have added it. So let's start an extraction here and see what happens. But before I do, actually, I'm going to reduce the number to 200. That's one thing you might want to consider doing with Google because they may bring back similar results down the road. So if what's on page 1 or 10 of Google in terms of uh, matching your keyword and your search criteria, it could also potentially be on page uh, 30 or 40. So to kind of reduce the number of duplicates that we could possibly get and get a very, and you're, you're getting the top 20, 200 results. So there's a, there's a, a high degree of um, uh, quality because Google is telling you, you know, this keyword you chose, I know we chose a bunch of gibberish for keywords, but, you know, assuming you had a niche, you were targeting a niche of, you know, boats, power boats, crazy painted boats, and those were your keywords, Google's telling you, okay, well, these are the, the websites coming back that are, you know, most strongly should be on page one of Google, so any emails that you extract from the top of the pile are going to have a high degree of relevance for your purpose, and I should have been talking while I was scraping. So, we've got Google's the search engine, we've got some common keywords, and we've got some... We don't have a very high page number, but that's fine. We're just scraping the good stuff from the top. And in less than 20 seconds, I've got close to a thousand. This little access denied message just ignored. It's actually a, a little fluke that I've... Uh, to resolve it is, n it is n there's no effect on the extraction process. One thing I will say since this is doing an extraction is I really, really need users to start doing the community a favor and shooting me an email and saying, look at, I got this is my search criteria. I've got this for my list man and it's brilliant. As a collective, uh, you know, in terms of or community within C subscribers, it would be really cool if we could start sharing different ideas like that. And um, I have come across some users, and they've got these great search criteria lists. When they want to, you know, explore or need some assistance with an extraction, I, I say, "What are you using?" And they give me this big spiel, and and what are what's your search criteria? Oh, I use this, and it's like stuff I haven't even thought of, you know. So. That's one one thing I, I would like to see. Um, but as far as search engine scraping with Google, this is hands down 
the most effective program to do that. Uh, backing up one point with the search criteria and sharing them, there's no no program doesn't work kind of like C. No other program uses a search criteria that I'm aware of. So anything you do share would ultimately just come back to the community of C users. And uh, that's something, like I said, I would love to have some sort of weekly update with different criterias from, you know, even starting to populate or, or, or promote uh, country-specific SMTP providers, which which are great if you're trying to zero in on a specific country. So this is a short overview of how you would use Google to to scrape a website. To reiterate, if you are targeting a niche, even if it's one keyword, if it's if it's rocket ship, you've got you know you want to look for a bunch of rocket ship fanatics out there or whatever. Choose that one keyword. This is after you've done everything. After you've done Facebook users and you know YouTube and Twitter, whatever. <laughs> that seems to be the word of the day. Try choosing Google. Reduce your maximum page number. Choose all the search criteria if you're targeting North America. You don't have to. You can keep it to the default list. Place in your one keyword. Select Google only. Do an extraction and you'll be quite surprised. With these few common keywords I've already got um, I know the sound is a little delayed, but I, I, I've got about 7K here so far with on, on the third or the fourth keyword. That's, you know, just a, a common word. So imagine what you can do with a word that is very popular in a specific niche. Imagine how many emails you could return using this program through Google scraping.